What's going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today's video is starting off out on the ice. Now, I'm out on a lake that we've been fishing quite often uh, this winter and the walleye fishing has been super, super good. But today, as you can tell probably behind me, I, for the first time of the year, am bringing out the dirty old snowmobile. I purchased a snowmobile last year and I really didn't get to use it a ton. Uh, we did use it a couple times out on the channel, but not a, an absolute ton of time. So I'm really excited to bring it out today. The ice is actually quite thick. It's probably a good 10 inches. You can probably almost drive a vehicle out on this specific lake. I'd like to apologize real quick before the video gets any further. The wind is absolutely crazy today uh, i think we're expecting 30 mile per hour gusts so hopefully the mic on this camera will shut most of that down but if you hear it my apologies there's nothing i can really do so like i was saying out on a lake that i've fished quite a bit so far this year i've caught a 28 and a quarter caitlin caught a 27 inch walleye and well this is the third time i fished it so big fish have been showing themselves but that brings me to another point with the snowmobile and everything i am fishing a brand new spot I have ventured further than I have ever ventured on this lake before for ice fishing and I found a hump that I just set up on. We're going to be seeing what this holds. Now there are a lot of humps out on this lake and the one that we were fishing in the last video is a gradual hump that goes up to a weed line. Now hopefully this is the same exact way, gradually goes up, should be some rock, some sand to a weed line and we got deep water all around us so these walleyes at dark should come up and hopefully feed just myself out here i'm going to end up setting up the shack here real quick and once i do put all the gear inside we're going to start drilling some holes we're going to get the tip-ups out so stay tuned guys hopefully hopefully i can get close to a 30 inch walleye tonight so stay tuned guys should be a good one All right, you guys, so I got the shack all set up. If I pan around here, you can see I got my two-man, my Fat Fish 767i from Eskimo. This is a shack I don't use quite that often, but when it's just myself or, you know, if it's Caitlin and I or something, I'll break this one out. And as you can tell, I just got a chair, camera gear, minnows, and a heater, which is all I need. It's just me out here tonight, so. This shack is nice and easy to set up, quick, light, um, so that's the reason I brought that versus the giant six man plus it's a lot easier to heat this one versus that six man You almost need like a really big mr. Buddy or a buddy flex or something like that Which I do not have but anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling I have to be setting some tip-ups as you can tell right behind me I do have one tip-up in um, that was the first thing I wanted to do actually before I got the shack set up Is I wanted to get a tip-up in the hole just because I mean you could get anything during the day Or you could get an early walleye or something like that. So I set one one and I found this one it's actually on a really nice weed line um, that comes up from about 25 feet and uh, that one right now is in about 15 feet holy cow this wind is brutal maybe if I kneel behind this shack you guys can hear me a little better but the plan of attack right now it's about 3 30 so these walleyes should be coming in really quick here so I gotta drill a couple more holes I'm gonna try to see where that weed line ends and uh, where the rocks and the sand um, I want to be about five feet, five, ten feet off of that weed line. So I'm going to go ahead, drill some holes, find them. And when I do, I want to bring the underwater camera out actually and show you guys kind of what I look for um, because I can do all the rambling I want and tell you guys this is what I'm fishing. But I want to actually physically show you. So I will drill a couple holes. I'm going to get the underwater camera and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I fish. All right, so just got all the tip ups set up and this one specifically is in a really good spot or at least it looks really good to me um, this one's got that really nice chunk rock um, with a little bit of sand some smaller weeds probably about six inches or so off the bottom and then behind where the camera actually is set up so behind you guys um, about six feet away is a really really solid weed line i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna drop the aqua view down super super helpful little tool for you guys to use um, if you guys want 
to get better at walleye fishing or really just any fishing an underwater camera is something that we use in every single video and it just helps reinsure that you are on the spot that you want to be on so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to hit the record button on this i'm going to go ahead and drop this down and like i said it is deeper this water is super clear so you should be able to see exactly what i'm looking at you can see my black tip up line there so we're dropping it down let's see if i can see my minnow here so if i pan there's my minnow that i just passed so you can see super chunky rock and then we got some weed growth right there and you probably won't be able to tell it but in the distance um, are those weeds um, and you can see it does drop off a little bit but really really nice chunky rock um, hopefully they're relating to rock tonight because two of my three tip-ups are set up on rocks the other one is up on sand but that is kind of just an idea of what I look for when I'm walleye fishing um, not every lake is going to have this type of structure, so you're going to have to shake it up. But the number one thing I will say when it comes to walleye fishing is for sure during the winter time, if you want to guarantee yourself at least one walleye, you're going to want to find sand and rock. That's like the number one tool. Not every weed line is going to have walleyes on it. Um, it's a great tip if you can find, like I said, the sandy, rocky tool weed line, there's going to be walleyes. But, like I said, never fished this spot, so I could just be talking out of my ass. I have no idea maybe what I'm talking about. But we will see in about 30 minutes. I got all three of my tip-ups set up. I got the shack set up. I am ready to rock and roll. And uh, now we just kind of sit and wait. So hopefully next time I pick up the camera, it shouldn't be too long, I'm going to be hooked up on a wall. Well, it did not take too long, but I've got myself the very first tip-up of the night for me. So go ahead. As you can see, probably right there. Got myself a tip up. Let me go ahead and check it. Could be first walleye, could be a pike. Um, believe it or not, actually, when I was setting my tip ups, um, the first hole that I drilled, I kid you not, you can believe me if you want or not, um, I saw like a 45 inch muskie. So, is this gonna be that muskie? Probably not. But I did see one, so I guess it could be anything. I kid you not, you guys. I just got a tip up over there. I got two tip ups right now, so I'm gonna go ahead, set the tripod up. Okay, so this one is right here and my minnow is gone. God! All right, well, first flag, uh, no minnow. Stole my minnow. I'm gonna have to hurry up and get another minnow on this one. But I do have another flag, so I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna check that one. Well, no movement on this one either. I'm just gonna check it right away. Oh! Felt like he went into the weeds. And I also... Don't have a frickin' minnow on this one either. Oh no, first two flags. I missed both of them and both my minnows are gone. So I'm gonna have to hurry up, get some minnows on. There's obviously some active fish coming in right now. They're a little earlier than I thought it was actually gonna be, to be honest. So let's go ahead, get some minnows. Let's catch these frickin' sons of guns. Oh. I literally, I just set this. Got a fish. He's there, what do we got? Feels like a walleye. Oh yeah, look at that. Let me get a little closer here for you guys. Well, just like that, we got ourselves the first walleye of the night. That one was definitely just sitting there because as soon as I put that other minnow down, he decided to take it probably i don't know like 18 19 inch wall nice fish to start off the night he's bleeding a little bit i'm gonna operate on him i'm gonna get him back but hey first fish that didn't take long about 10 minutes into the holes so let's go baby see ya all right let's get another minnow and catch another fish 
Let me just open up the shack here. Oh, and we're greeted by a tip up and another tip up. Well, let's see what we got. Holy cow, this thing was ripping line. It's definitely still here. I got him. Feels like a wall. Eh? Let's see how big it is though. Doesn't feel too big. There we go. Woo. A little bit nicer of a walleye. That one's probably 21. Definitely a male. Oh, calm down. Hopefully you guys can see that. Nice walleye for sure. He's bleeding all over the place, so I'm gonna have to hurry up on him. But we got another flag, another fish. So far, the spot is looking pretty darn good. That one was hooked right there in the mouth. Minnow's still on. Whew. Let's go. That's a nice walleye. All right, get a release on him. See you, buddy. Uh, now, see if that minnow's alive, which he is even better. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna set this one quick. <sighs> We're gonna attend that one. No movement. Doesn't mean he's not here, though. Nope. Feels like a drop. Well, send her back down, no loss there. Shouldn't be long, probably. We're gonna get another flag. I have zero idea why this is not working. Really started to piss me off though, because it's getting cold in here. I'm supposed to get down to negative two tonight, and I can't freaking get my heater to work. I have no idea what the heck is wrong with that thing and I'm starting to get really annoyed because it's cold it's getting kind of lonely getting kind of boring my phone is at 10% battery right now so I can't even get on that and like talk to anybody watch some YouTube anything like that I'm literally just sitting in the shack by myself but I will tell you what I actually had a pretty long week at work so as boring as this is, sometimes I really do like just getting out here. I like just relaxing. It's peace and quiet. I mean, there's nobody nobody around me or even on the lake really today. So it's really peaceful, calm. And it's just a good time to reflect. Just the start of the year, I have a lot to be thankful for. And uh, yeah, just kind of chilling here, waiting for a flag. This is the reality of fishing for walleyes, especially up here in northern Wisconsin. I know you guys will see the finished product. Um, with everything edited out, but you know in order to catch some of these fish and to get on some of these bites You have to grind it out. That's just one of the biggest things I can give you guys as a tip um, Yeah, location and everything is really nice, but if you don't put in the time and the effort You're just never gonna know when the fish are gonna bite or anything I mean this spot specifically could be a night bite and I've never been here and if you leave at 530 You'll never know. Maybe it's a seven, maybe it's an eight o'clock bite. Maybe it's a full moon type of bite. Maybe it's an early morning, maybe it's midday, maybe it's evening. You just absolutely never know. So you gotta put in the time and the effort. You gotta grind out on the ice if you guys want to catch big fish. That's my number one tip. I know it sounds so obvious, but you wouldn't believe how many people go out, especially for walleyes. They set up right before dark and they will pack up as soon as it gets dark. Um, it's just it blows my freaking mind. So little tip for you guys I'm gonna sit here in the dark wait for another flag and hopefully we get hooked up real soon First flag after dark now you guys are gonna have to bear with me on the lighting situation because This is the first time I filmed um, Wally fishing actually by myself this year. So I am not prepared at all normally I have um, like a little LED light that goes on the camera, but 
that's not uh, that's not out here with me today so i got my headlight actually balanced on top of the camera right now so hopefully you guys can see me but like i said first flag after dark it's not moving i just checked this flag actually to make sure all my flags had minnows on it one of them actually did not so good thing i checked i do think there's something here go ahead and check oh yeah there's a walleye big head shakes but i don't think it's that big nope just a little guy Hopefully you guys can see this. <clears throat> Probably, I don't know, 16 inch or so. But first one after dark, I went through a little bit of a lull where I maybe didn't have a flag for a good half an hour. But like I said, there was one without a minnow on it. So that definitely doesn't help your uh, chances at getting a fish when you don't have a minnow. So I'm gonna go ahead, release this guy, go back in the shack. My heater right now is currently not working. So it's brutally cold out. <laughs> for me but luckily i'm out of the wind so it doesn't affect me too much but i'm gonna get this guy unhooked i got to get the headline off the camera and i will show you guys the release of this fish all right boy going back see ya okay it is cold my hands are freaking freezing with that wind i'm gonna go ahead and set this tip up back up get a minnow go back into the shack see if i can get that heater going hopefully get another flag soon Well, I just got done checking all the tip-ups and they're still down, still got all the minnows. Guys, we are in a serious lull right now. It's probably been a good, man, good hour, I'd say probably out here and just no flags since that last smaller one. I don't know what it is because this lake usually you can catch them all throughout the night. Um, I mean lulls do happen, but this this is not normal I'm not honestly sure how much longer I'm gonna give it just because I am out here kind of a ways and uh, I'm by myself and if they're not biting I mean, I know I was just preaching like you got to stay out here You got to figure out, you know When they're gonna bite all that, but trust me. I've got other stuff to do um, As much as I would love to stay out on a lake and fish for 25 hours it's, it's just not possible all the time. So I'm probably gonna end up packing up here pretty quick. I'm gonna leave my tip ups in while I take the shack down in hopes that maybe I get one more. But if I don't, caught some fish, got some action, got out here, just enjoyed some nature. So can't complain. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed today's video. I mean, it is what it is. That's fishing for you guys. I mean, you can't come out and catch a 30 inch walleye every single time. That's just the reality of it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes or so, take the shack down, and I will most likely see you guys back at the landing. All right, you guys, so completely forgot to do the outro on the landing. So I went ahead and I drove all the way home and right now I'm outside of my house. But I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and you also learned a few tips. Um, yes, they were simple, but they're simple tips that should help you guys definitely catch wallets. And if you guys like this type of video, make sure to let me know down in the comment section because I would like to do more in-depth walleye videos showing you guys how to catch walleyes that can be early ice mid season late season and it doesn't have to just be ice fishing it can be open water and uh, throughout the year because walleye fishing is basically what this channel is built on if you guys want to see anything let me know down in the comment section i do appreciate all the comments that we get and i enjoy talking to you guys and if you want to take it a step further and talk to us even more in depth make sure to check out our instagram nb.edits message us on there we uh we message everybody back so it's a great way to talk to you guys like i said i'm at my house i'm gonna go inside it's been a long day so thank you guys again for watching make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and i will talk to you guys on the next one tight lines from nb edits